the biggest challenge is um, where do they start and how do they start CFO when they want to embark on these uh, changes right they, they have the vision to it when they want to achieve it and they look at the angle it seems too far away and then it takes too much time the role of the financial leadership changes from being reactive to something that has to be more predictive so and in order to achieve that to be done through technology right so the adoption of transformation the adoption of it i think has to be on top of all the cfo minds in the past a lot of data seems to be just residing in silos where having data that is residing in silo when you want to find out about something it takes time and when it takes time means you fall behind and when you fall behind you can't make decisions you can't you can't sort of keep up to the pace and you become reactive mode versus a predictive mode right so that part of things has to be a mindset shift to CFO to actually change from you know uh, taking time to find out about things to something that I can actually look at data and insights and make a decision into the future looking at how and whether the organization has achieved uh, efficiency in, 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 in a certain area and then whether whatever that they are doing that repeatedly which is I, I term it as efficiency whether it's effective that means is it making the impact that it should do and at the end of the day by having both efficiency and uh, effectiveness right the question is the outcome of it is it value adding to the organization or not right so these are the three I would say area that we, we probably can look into in terms of maturity for every organization. What I think CFO should or the finance office should adopt now is more of a agile kind of uh, mindset. There's no need to gain big steps every time. I think you need to find the smaller steps or we call baby steps to build up to the bigger steps itself.